And let's start with equities. Pretty bad day, down around 6%. Um, is this knee-jerk or does this have more to go? No, I think obviously it's knee-jerk. You know, markets opening up to, to the news and the surprises that we had at the weekend. But if you look at Turkish equities compared to peers over the last two years, and there has been also some you know, strong outperformance, whether it's Western European or Eastern European or EM peers for that matter. So some sort of a reaction you know, is bound to happen in these sort of situations. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course the, the sell-off in equity is much greater than that in currencies and bonds. Yes, I mean, uh, the currencies and the bond backdrop will be more determined by what's happening in global emerging markets in general. Uh, and that, at the moment, is a function of U.S. Treasury yield moves. You know, we've moved above 2.05% which is the first time since November of 2007 that we've seen uh, U.S. Treasury yields uh, go above two standard deviations above their 12-month average. So there are a lot of trigger levels out there at the moment uh, for that backdrop. And uh, we just had a chart of the lira there against the dollar, um, hit 190 today. Are we looking at a break um, through two? Well, the thing is here that, again, U.S. dollarism uh, should be one of the main drivers for EM currencies. I mean, if you look versus LATAM currencies, again, uh, this sort of situation is happening. Uh, but uh, obviously, the central bank and I think markets tend to more, look more towards the basket, the 50-50 euro uh, and dollar lira basket which at the moment is trading about 217, 218 levels. Uh, anything above 2.15 uh, is probably where the central bank starts to look at uh, the issues. And it, it's not going to comment simply because of what happened at the weekend. Uh, but if we get protracted uh, protests, which is not the general expectation at the moment, then obviously we'd probably see some uh, reaction, uh, verbal at least, mm -hmm. from, from the central bank. Okay, and just to finish up, um, how significant is the breach uh, today of 7% on the 10-year bond? Again, this is uh, EM uh, specific, so it's not just uh, idiosyncratic towards Turkey, it is an EM specific issue, uh, and this is a reaction to US Treasury yield uh, bonds, if you like, that in the last one to two weeks. So it is a significant move, but it's not limited to Turkey. Um, I think that we're going to see over the next few months for emerging markets in general, some more spikes on the upside, given that the pressure on the U.S. Treasury yield has been there. Um, but we like emerging markets as a whole. We like emerging market bonds as a whole. And Turkey stands out there as one of the best fiscal stories, both in EM uh, and developed markets.